You already know that Aptera gets up to 40 miles of free solar power driving per day. So today, we are going to talk science and explain how we get as much solar power as possible from our integrated solar package. It's no secret, Aptera has many solar cells exposed to the sun at once. But how do we get the most power output at all times? By calculating the maximum power point. See this example. The x-axis is voltage, and on the y-axis is current. Voltage multiplied by current gives us output power. In a solar application, we want output power to be as high as possible. The black line shows the output of a panel in ideal conditions. Current stays nearly the same as voltage increases, until a rapid drop-off where the solar cell can no longer produce any current. The red line shows the total power output, Voltage multiplied by current gives us output power, which is why it has a near linear increase until the sharp decline. At the intersection of peak current and voltage, we get the maximum power point, or MPP. At this point, our integrated solar package is producing the most power possible and being the most efficient. But let's talk about this principle in the real world. This easy to understand red line? It's more like this and constantly changing around. Think about trees, buildings, and other vehicles on the road. Each of these produces shade, not to mention Aptera's curved body makes for an ever-changing amount of solar production. To make sure we get peak power as much as possible, even while Aptera is driving, we use advanced software algorithms to optimize output power. Our solar engineers are innovating every day to create the most robust solar product possible. And we're excited for you to experience the power of solar mobility firsthand. Solar. It's complicated, but worth it to provide over 11,000 miles of free driving per year.